Hey guys, different day in the shop with the blue truck. With the kinky hood. Which, so that's where the problem was. You can kind of still see there's a bit of a dent here. Just a little one. We kind of, we got it straightened out pretty good. So hanging around, braining, like what are we going to do about this? Uh, kind of talked about OCG, did uh, hood stiffener on oh, Dale. Dale. He's got a video on that. Uh, so going along the same lines, uh, we came up with a plan here. And, uh, well, Mr. Fabricator over here, chucking the ideas around, came up with this, uh, this idea to make a stiffener underneath here. We didn't, we didn't really want to wait to uh, order a kit because as you guys know that have this had this issue once it kinks you're gonna kink it every time so we got the hood open we got it straightened so we figured let's just make something so we had these they're just a they were a shelf bracket of some sort i don't remember where they came from but i kept it and so i was toying with the idea like we're talking about those four shelf like harbor freight canadian tire kind of thing one of those guys so what i came up with is i i cut this i guess i went i went 30 inches because i wanted to share i wanted to share the main bolt the top bolt for the hinge and so i bolted that on positioned everything and then, then we then i pushed the hood up he like overextended this. the hood yeah so then i could mark um, where I could drill these these holes to put these um, nut certs in. That one doesn't seem tight. I can recrank it. I'll have to crank that one again. But uh, so yeah, so then I just went and I drilled out the holes, slapped it on there. Use the existing front bolt for the hood hinge. Just to add the extra um, strength to it, I guess. So that's that's gonna work pretty good, I think. Um, I got I'm gonna use this one as a template so I can make the other one exactly the same. And the idea here with uh, these mounting holes is that the bolt is tight against the ID of this. So when when we're gonna tighten it down, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna overextend the hood and then tighten everything down so this is all rigid in here. That's the plan. And then we're also toying with the idea of removing the hood springs and going with a, a strut type system. With a prop rod. Prop, prop rod. Prop rod or strut. we got to figure out the geometry on the strut. So when it closes and it goes, uh, it compresses the uh, shock deal thing, whatever they're called, struts, I guess, um, that we have the proper geometry is the word. That's, yep. that's the only one I got, man. <laughs> We'll use that one then. Okay, that's the one we're gonna go with. All right, so I'm gonna recrank this one, tighten it up. And uh, then I'll use this as my template, like I said, and I'll cut that other one. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, back in a bit. Okay, Jeff's got the uh, nuts or tool. I'm getting her all tightened up. I'm gonna give her a... Little more? That oh, looks, that that's, looks right. That's, they all? Yeah, I'm gonna do that to all of them. I don't know if you guys have one of these tools, but uh, man, can you do clean work with this stuff? I mean, look how factory that looks in here. It's just super trick. Of course, it's gonna get covered with that bracket, but. You get the idea of what's going on here though. And this hood is so thin, like, it's it's an offshore hood it says right on it made in taiwan and i had such a hard time in my head <laughs> drilling these holes knowing that this metal on the skin is paper thin i did not want to dink it uh, dent it is what i meant to say so uh he's got I, he's got all the words today i don't want to use that one though I'm about to get rid of that one. Yeah, that's weird. There we go. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's a cool tool. We're not sponsored by Worth, but we use a lot of their, their uh, fasteners, a bunch of their specialty tools like this. I'm pretty sure you guys can get these at, uh, like the Canadian version is uh, Princess Auto. And then you guys uh, down south have Harbor Freight. I don't know what you guys have like over the pond, but I'm sure that you can find these things. And then you can get your metrics, metric inserts, all your standard stuff like that. You can buy them and I think you get, we get them in bags of 10 or something like that. And uh, you know, stock your favorite sizes. And then, uh, you know, it's cool for, you know, like, like on that guy over there, putting them in the inside of the, of the uh, on the firewall, and then you can do bracketry and all kinds of, like mount all your electronics, your coils, your sniper boxes, all that fun stuff. Works really good. So we're going to uh, get to the other side. Yeah, I'm gonna make that other side there, and then uh... I think that's time lapse. Yeah, in a bit. So, because OCD is pretty rampant around the shop, we're just uh, we're doing the Discovery Channel thing here. I'm trying to make this exactly the same on both sides. So, that would mean... Uh, how do we do this? This one goes like that. There's these two sets of rivets here that would have uh, locked in the shelving unit. I punched them out here, so in order to make it a mirrored copy, I want to have these two holes here. I guess we could weld them up, but we're not gonna. So I'm gonna weld up this hole. This is a hole that somebody put a screw in at one time. So I'm gonna weld that one up, grind it smooth, and then we can do our mirror bracket. And yep. then we'll paint everything. Okay. Just wanna let you know what, uh, how that goes around here. Yeah, we're kinda crazy that way. Okay. Let's weld. You're gonna be like, bzz, done. Done. So easy. Just for aesthetics, basically. Yeah, exactly. Okay, we're gonna clean that up and then uh, we'll continue on here. time I don't like that <laughs> he's not enjoying it just gotta go stressing out man nice and slow let the drill do the work that way we don't add any extra dimples to the uh Top side of the hood. Why are you even talking right now, Dave? <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate here. I'm hanging out with our people. 
That's how good this guy is. No. I'm yes. Just, yes, I, you are. Stressed out, man. Stressed out. One more. Uh -huh. It's a bit tedious, but it's going to be worth it at the end. You're going to end up with a this situation and you know essentially you're adding all the uh, the strength to the bend and the funny part is right here they've they stamped this uh, dip into the hood which is right where it kinks and then they have this so it's, it's kind of understandable if this would be a straight through and they would have this come straight through that that strength would stay in the hood so I don't know what that's all about but uh, a little bit of that. Okay. Excellent. I'm going to get the nut certs going here. Thread that guy on the top. got uh, they've got some flutes on there for a little extra grabbing that really pushes that metal that thin metal on that hood oh, it's <laughs> back like these guys things they, they go like this right and then they, they pinch on both sides and expand a little bit so they really grab in there well twice pretty handy tool you can see by the pressure just putting on there that that's that's the end of the of the pinch on that nut sort into the hood <clears throat> some more of these yeah we got inserts we got to restock on a few different sizes here but this will inspire confidence to go and close the hood after these guys are installed for sure yeah, I'm still gonna leave that up to you I still think I might take the springs off it makes me nervous every time I'm like yeah one more We kind of equally, well, not equally, but spaced out the uh, the mounting location from starting here at the front of the hinge, and then just pick this. There's a little bit of a deflection from here where this kind of goes back. It dips. It dips, yes. And then we just picked all the same equal spots here, so that that bar comes off here, and then that lines up with. Put this in here. See if that makes sense. Straight edge style. So like that, and there's there's our little bendy that we got going on. So when I lift up the hood, that goes, uh, that air gappage, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. That's gonna get rid of most of that and put the, uh, the rigidity into the whole uh, structure. So now we've got like a three foot, um, 
stiffener rather than just the length of this, which looks like to be about, I don't know, 16 inches or something like that. So here we go with that. Let's see how that works now. We're not going with uh, cross threads better than old thread, right? No. no. Out. Oh, oh. Huh? Go in. Busy. I know. A few sections of alignment here. Now you'll be able to see that that isn't perfectly aligned until we pushed up too much and too far. There we go. It's gonna make it more happy. We're gonna take it all off again anyway to paint it, but we're not showing you guys the paint job. We're showing you showing you what we're doing with this. And in my opinion, it, it doesn't even look bad. Like it kind of matches the, the engine bay with the black and, and uh, yeah, sorry, those inner fender rolls are like super dirty, but it's kind of an accent feature. You get a bonus out of that. You won't screw up your hood and uh, yeah. Get some, get some coolness happening. So we'll come back and like, one minute here and then we'll have both on and then we'll give her a test run okay next day 1440 minutes later I figure that out now we're back okay paint complete check that's all done and we figured we would show you guys how those uh those nuts or deals work so we got a little demo happening here so we found out that we need a 7 16 hole in order to make, to have the, the right amount of clearance to get a good grab on, on our insert here. So I don't know which way to should I go this way. Sure. So as you can see, <clears throat> you slide it through the hole and you can see all these, these knurls in here. So as I squeeze on and then I tighten it, just folds back on it, itself it folds it back and now now you're not going to be able to take that out of there which you don't want and obviously it's going to be with the knurls on it it bites into the the metal that you're compressing against so and that's important to have this as tight as you possibly can because when you're putting a bolt in this is that this is your nut on the back side so you like you're blind over here because you're working from this side and you don't want this thing to start spinning on you because then that makes for not a happy time. Yeah, then it's kind of wasted time, so. Exactly. Okay, well, next plan. I'll grab those guys. Jeff's gonna grab that. We'll go back over here and uh, do the install. Okay, so. Uh, yeah. yeah, driver's side. Okay. So we're just gonna put everything in loose for now so that we can uh, overextend the the hood. Like lift it up and then, and then tighten everything down. And here we go again. The factory holes in the hood are not square. They had nothing to do with those holes. And once again, a cross thread is not better than no thread. Come on. Gotta hold your tongue the right way. Oh, it's embarrassing. Tedious stuff with Jeff. 
You know what? Let's do this first. I'll put some of these in. Then I'll have my location 100%. We've seen other kits where they basically just take a self tapper and go up into the uh, the structure. That to me doesn't doesn't sound like it's going to do. That might what work. It needs to do. Well, it might work better on a factory hood, but because this metal is so thin, like the, the amount of uh, threads per per inch on one of those self tappers. Like you're just not gonna have enough bite once it goes, once it drills through, and it won't, it won't attach like tightly. And then all of a sudden you're gonna go, okay, I want that tighter. You're gonna give it that extra half turn, and then you spun it out, and that's game over. So that's why we opted out to go with the nut cert deal. So we have a, a full set of threads, and we can like t really tighten them up nicely. I'm opting out, and I'm going to that side. Here we go. <laughs> Carry on. This side doesn't isn't cooperating right now. I don't have time for this. You can watch Jeff and I'll try this side. There, in. <clears throat> now we used grade eight bolts. We didn't need to, but those were the, those are the right length we had on hand. So that's why we went with those. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten, tighten these four because there is a little bit of play in that one. And that's a half inch. Do we have to recenter this? This thing's, I don't know, maybe the, maybe the hinge slid over. It's brutal. I'm trying to do the one handy here. Tighten these ones up and then we'll tighten that one once we. Yeah, we'll just do all the snugging afterwards. You gotta leave them a little bit loose so we can I can stretch the hood, Jeff. This is the one that's going to be the grabber. That one's oh, the one that slides. Huge so difference here. These ones are tight. So, so if you overextend it, then I can tighten it. I love these ratchet wrenches. These things are awesome. Okay. Okay. So plan. We are going to. I'm gonna let Dave close the hood. So I will hold the camera. Okay. And let's see what happens. So your standard GM shake the hood down. Nothing in there. Uh, nothing. Yeah, that's what we got. And we have that Just slight a, little deflection there from. But this is hood fitment, bend. like this manufacturing stuff, because the bend it was kind of like right in here, exactly lining up on that uh, part we're talking about already. Right here. That's where it happened. That's the weak spot. So, well, once again, that is night and day. We're gonna call that a win. Case closed. Much better. All right, that's it. That's what we got. Oh, oh, sorry guys. So, once again, as usual, like, share, subscribe, and all you guys again. <laughs> <Let's go this way. laughs> all you guys again.
Go back and check if you hit the subscribe button, please. Like we're still kind of like 60, 40 ish, or even less than that on uh, subscribe versus non subscribe. It would really help us out and we really appreciate it. And keep sending your locations in. We have pins. Jeff will drill the hole. We'll get them in. We'll them in. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. You guys have a great day. Right on, guys. Talk to you later. You bet.